You know what I like? I like the fact that the human genome took millions of years to create. Then we developed fire, and fire really opened up the encyclopedia of various foodstuffs that enabled us to experience various textures, flavors, and taste sensations that expanded the palate and the human mind of what food could really become. Millions of years later, we would begin the Industrial Revolution, which give us modern farming and become fertile ground for creating new farming technologies and more advanced food technology. As our population exploded, the pace quickened towards a more efficient means of supplying ourselves with a wider encyclopedia of delicious edible forms of satiation. This was followed by great chefs making sense of it all by harnessing the tools that were given birth by this revolution. Masters like Augustus Escoffier and Carême, this influence was felt everywhere. Even Mao Zedong worked for Escoffier and then went to go and change the world in China forever. Escoffier once said, good food is the foundation of genuine happiness. As new layers of gastronomy were defined, enhanced, and immersed into the fabric of us, we invented the microchip which led into the computational intelligence that changed the world all over again. Now the world lives in a new reality where each microchip then designs the next microchip and exponentially it increases in efficiency. This exponential increase in price performance breeded a fluid communication from being to being with smartphone technologies and a new explosion of information and technology which then entered the kitchen. New big ideas were formed which became ideological philosophical deities within themselves that just 20 years previously would have been impossible. Big and bold chain reaction ideas like designing and creating a customized software algorithm to create a more efficient system for running our restaurant that enabled us to create a zero food mile expansion within the restaurant. This enabled us to eliminate the issue of genetically modified plants as their DNA has been altered and our DNA has remained the same ever since we were hunter-gatherers. So this new DNA of plants really is viewed from our bodies as an alien invader. So we get around this idea by growing indoors to avoid the cross-pollination issue and who really owns our food. Zero food mile gastronomy will create new opportunities for farmers who will then become high-tech food designers. We can grow and produce nearly perfect non-GMO products anytime we wish in any environment we want at the time of our discretion. As technology feeds on itself, we explode with broader ideas like tricking the tongue into believing that sour things like lemons taste like lemonade with the use of a small red berry, which then enables us to swap out all refined sugar from those building blocks of gastronomy that we have come to embrace like mom's homemade apple pie. The kitchen of the future is paved with gastronomic designers, sculptors, engineers, architects, and artisans. Just as Michelangelo specialized in numerous artistic mediums, so will we as we get to design and redesign the food products we describe as life-changing, euphoric, mind-blowing, and everything we believe every morsel of food has the potential to become. We are the masters of organic gastronomic design.